Good evening and welcome to the Channel Studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. Ukrainian officials say Russian forces at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant aim to disconnect energy produced there from the Ukrainian power system. The state power company that operates the plant says the Russian occupiers are preparing to stage a large-scale provocation at the largest nuclear power station in Europe. It's after Russia has rejected appeals for a complete demilitarization of the area. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres sounded the alarm after meeting Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky and Turkish leader Recep Tayyip Erdogan in Lviv. The calls come amid growing concern over safety at the site as both sides accuse each other of shelling the area. Mexican officials have dealt another blow to the past administration's probe into the disappearance of 43 students, calling it a high-level cover-up of a state crime in which eight years on there are no signs of survivors. Mexico's top human rights official told a news conference to present the probe's latest report. The past government's participation in the disappearance constituted a state crime, as he made a rare acknowledgement that the students did not survive. Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador has pledged to reveal what truly happened to the students who vanished in the southwestern city of Iguala in September 2014. Their disappearance sparked international outrage over human rights abuses and impunity in Mexico and did long-lasting damage to the administration of then-President Enrique Peña Nieto. Powerful storms have battered areas of central and southern Europe, killing at least 12 people, including three children. The deaths, most from falling trees, were reported in Italy and Austria and on the French island of Corsica, which saw winds gusting up to 224 kilometers an hour. Authorities there said a 13-year-old girl was killed by a falling tree on a campsite. This the scene in Venice, where masonry was blown off the bell tower of St. Mark's Basilica. The storms follow weeks of heat wave and drought across much of the continent. A wildfire in the Valencia region that has been dampened by rain is now raging again, fanned by changing winds. Firefighters struggled to control the Begis blaze in the Valencia region and video showed members of Spain's military unit trying to protect the Roman Catholic chapel of Santa Cova in the village of Ultara. More than 400 people and 36 aircraft have been working to control the fire that has burnt more than 19,000 hectares, forcing the evacuation and confinement of over 1,000 people in nearby villages. A new survey shows Brazil's president's support grew by three percentage points from last month, while approval for his rival, Luiz Inácio Luala da Silva, remained flat ahead of the country's October elections. A survey by pollster Data Folha showed Luala received 47% voter support against Jair Bolsonaro's 32%, compared with 47% and 29% respectively in June. It comes after Jair Bolsonaro attempted to grab the phone off a heckler. Footage showed Bolsonaro grabbing the YouTuber's shirt and arm before his bodyguards then pulled him aside. The Finnish Prime Minister, Sanna Marin, is facing a backlash after being seen partying in a leaked video. In the footage, thought to be taken from social media, she and friends, including Finnish celebrities, are seen dancing and singing. She has faced criticism from opposition parties, with one leader demanding she take a drug test. The 36-year-old denied taking drugs, saying she only drank alcohol and just partied in a boisterous way. And finally, Europe's worst drought in years has pushed the river Danube to one of its lowest levels in almost a century, exposing the hulks of dozens of explosive-laden German warships sunk during World War II. The vessels were among hundreds scuttled along the Danube by Nazi Germany's Black Sea Fleet in 1944 as they retreated from advancing Soviet forces and still hamper river traffic during low water levels to this day. Months of drought and record high temperatures have slowed river traffic on vital arteries in other parts of Europe, including Germany, Italy and France. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the Channel Studios in Lagos.